How's it going, everyone? Today, we're going to be going over the command line for Lightphone. This is an application that works. You need two devices to make it work, and it gives you Google Map directions, Google Calendar, Yelp searches, and in the future, hopefully weather, Wikipedia, and more stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do it. This was an application developed by Ninraj. I cannot I don't want to butcher the name, so the last name, so I'm going to skip that. But if you can get me a pronunciation, I'll try to memorize it and try to get it better. Uh, but the first thing that uh, you need to do is going to go to the Google Developer Console. Uh, this is a blog post that Ninraj uh, put over, uh, and it's the same information that is on the GitHub page where you will get the application for your Android phone. So you need an Android and a light phone to make this work. So the first thing that we're going to search is the Google Developer Console. And in the Google Developer Console, of course, you know, we're going to get the API key for the directions. Uh, you have to sign in. I'm already signed in. Sign in. You have to create a project. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but, you know, you're going to get your credentials. You're going to get, you know, I, uh, the project. So you click the My Project tab. Uh, you're going to get to the credentials where you get your API key. And that API is going to, you know, give you enough for uh, for you to, you know, kind of like get the directions. But what you want to click is enable the API and search for the API. The one that you want to enable, of course, is the directions API. I already enabled it, but, you know, make sure that you enable this. Otherwise, you will not be able to get directions. Uh, manage, of course, you're going to see some extra statistics and things of that nature. And then afterwards, you just go to your credentials and get the API key. It's blurred out here, of course, because I don't want you to use mine. And then I get charged. Um, there is a cost per every million or every a couple of searches, a, a thousand or like a hundred thousand searches per day. But of course, we're not going to get there. Um, this is the page for the APK. Of course, you have to download this. And once you download it, uh, on your Android phone that has another phone number, right? That's how it works. You need to have two active phone numbers. Uh, you'll be able to get the directions back and forth. Uh, the next thing that you need to set up is the Yelp Fusion API. So we're going to search for Yelp Fusion API. And again, you'll have to sign in. Uh, so Yelp Fusion, that's where you're going to try to get it so you can get searches. So I'm already signed in here, so I'm going to get started. And Again, it's pretty self-explanatory. You give uh, a name to the app. So it's something like, um, of course, like Lightphone in my case. You need to verify that you're not a robot. So, you know, you put the app name, Lightphone, then you put the industry. Uh, I will select uh, local. So you can select whatever you want, then give it like a little description. Of course, you have to put your email um, so that they can contact you or whatever it is. And after that, you'll pretty be pretty much be good to go. So Lightphone API, you select, you create the new app, and then boom, as magic, it will show you your API key, and then you'll input that into the Android application that will allow you to text from the Lightphone to the other phone, uh, and then back and forth, and then you'll get the responses. I'm going to show you right now. We're going to transition. So. Here's the light phone, and we're going to do a couple of searches to showcase either the Google directions or the, of course, the Yelp me. So we're going to drive to Atlanta, Georgia from Albany, Georgia. So Albany, Georgia to Atlanta. And then uh, you have to put and be very specific. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send it. So this sends it to the light phone. Uh, and after it sends it to the light phone, uh, right there is going to give us the directions. It's going to take a while, of course, you know, it's sending it to my other phone and my other phone has to come back. So it takes a couple of minutes for you to search, but again, it's something that the light phone doesn't have right now and it's really helpful. There's the search. It took about maybe like 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and it gives you directions, uh, turn by turn directions um, on how to get there. So you have the results. It's 182 miles. It takes two hours in 49 minutes and then it tells you there uh, the extra directions we're going to do another one uh this time around we're going to do a search for yelp so it says albany georgia yelp me uh chinese uh give me a second i'm gonna try to get it right uh that's one of the frustrations with this phone trying to get it 
Correct. So Albany, Georgia, Yelp Me Chinese. And right there, it's going to, again, take a little while. It's going to communicate with the other phone and see what happens. And then that is my other phone. I have a BlackBerry Key 2. Uh, so it works with that one. And then it's going to send me some of the reviews and some of the locations that I can get Chinese food uh, because I want some Chinese food right now. Uh, so there it is, China Garden Chinese. It tells me the stars, three reviews, uh, where it is, Slappy Boulevard. Uh, there you go, Dawson Road, you know. So again, if you see that the Yelp API works, I had already pre-configured it. So it works perfectly. So you can get Yelp reviews. So you can get also uh, directions. Let's get to a final search and let's go to San Francisco. So San Francisco. Oh, I guess I made a mistake right there. So I'm going to leave one of the mistakes and see what happens. Um, texting on this device has been a little bit of a pain, but honestly, it's um, difficult but it teaches me patience and to be more accurate, I guess. Hopefully, at some point in time, uh, they'll be able to fix it. But let's do a Starbucks. And right there, we're going to wait again and see what we can get. Of course, it's going to send back, back and forth. It takes about maybe, you know, 20, 30 seconds for the search. But it works and you can get Yelp. You can get uh, your calendar. You can get the directions from one place to another and while it is not perfect it's not a smartphone it works so right there you have the starbucks searches around uh, san francisco and you can get you know the stars the reviews and everything else i hope you enjoyed this video and honestly uh thank you for watching i appreciate it and i'll be putting some other videos thanks for watching